CIET and CERT presents the program E-Payment Frauds. E-Payment Awareness E-Payment Frauds Objective of Program To understand about e-payment frauds This series is about to create awareness about e-payment frauds. E-payment fraud is any type of false or illegal transaction completed by a cyber criminal. The perpetrator deprives the victim of funds, personal property, interest or sensitive information via the internet. Now let's listen to this interesting conversation between a father and his daughter when the father has supposedly won a lottery of 1 crore of rupees. Daughter, 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 my dear daughter. Daddy, Come here, please. Daddy, I've I'm just won a lottery of one crore rupees. What? <laughs> when? How? <laughs> See, I just got a message. And what all they need is my OTP to transfer the winnings into my bank account. Oh, no, 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 no. Daddy, this is a fraud. You should never share your OTP with anyone. Not even bank representatives. Scammers send these kinds of luring messages so that people get tempted and they benefit from the lack of knowledge of such people. But daughter, you only told me to start using online banking. And this is what I was scared of. Dad, see, you just have to be aware of some basic stuff in order to safeguard yourself from such frauds. <laughs> Don't worry, I will guide you about some basic facts related to e-payment frauds by which you can safeguard yourself from such kind of frauds. Mm -hmm. And what are these safeguards? Daddy, first and foremost, never share your card details with anyone because someone can use those details to make unauthorized transactions or purchases from your account. Okay, okay. And equally important is that never share your OTP, that is your one-time password with anyone. Hmm. Not just OTP, you should never share your passwords with anyone for that matter. But daughter, when I log into my internet banking, the website asks me for my password. That's right. You have to enter your password over there, but remember to only enter your password into the genuine website. Do not enter your password or your card information into any link that someone messages you or comes to you as a pop-up while using the internet. Scammers use fraudulent websites and emails to acquire personal or private information such as credit card, bank account details or login credentials. This is called phishing. Oh my god, this is so scary. That truly is. Also, avoid using public Wi-Fi as personal information can be stolen through them and this is known as identity theft. I remember. I also recently heard from one of my friends that he got a call from a bank representative saying that his account is blocked mm -hmm. and they need his information to unblock it. And when he gave his information to them, they stole his money. Yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about, Daddy. With the increase in the use of internet for banking services, frauds have also increased because people with malicious objectives try to take advantage of lack of knowledge of people. But the customer should be aware about these things. So, I request you to please stay aware about these things and never ever ever share your personal data with anyone. Right, right. I understood. Also, I have to start using UPI or Bheem to pay and receive payments from my business vendors and customers. Is there anything I need to be careful in that respect as well? That's a very good question, Daddy. I'm happy you asked this question. See, there is a QR code scam that is going around these days, wherein frauds and scamsters ask you to enter your UPI PIN to receive money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They will ask you to scan the QR code sent by them and enter your PIN in order to receive the money. Okay. I wish to tell you that UPI payments never require you to enter your PIN when you have to receive a payment and it is only required when you are paying it to someone else. So, always remember to not enter PIN while receiving payments. Okay. I did not know this at all. Although no one has asked me to enter PIN to receive money till now, but I would have definitely believed them. Now you are saved. <laughs> Let me give you an example to make you understand why you should never give PIN while receiving payments. Okay. You are writing a check to pay to someone. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now, you will have to sign the cheque so that the person to whom you are giving it can encash it, correct? Hmm. 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 
But have you ever signed any check or any document for receiving the payment? No, right? Yeah, no, no. So entering PIN is same like signing a check. You sign the check when you pay, and not while receiving the payment. Okay, okay. So I hope this example would make you understand this better. Hmm, that is a very good example. Now I understand very clearly what these scammers are trying to do. Now, since we are talking on this matter, is there anything else you would like me to know about internet in general, like uh, where we can possibly fall prey to frauds and scams? Like, uh, if I could pinpoint, mm -hmm. I am using YouTube a lot lately these days, mm -hmm. and I do lots of comment and interact with the YouTube community, um, video creators, people who comment on the videos. Yeah, certainly. Uh, there are a few things that you should be aware about since now you are using YouTube as well. So, Daddy, there are scammers in the comment section of YouTube who promise people of getting profits from stock or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency trading. Mm -hmm. They operate very cleverly. For example, if you have commented on a video, they would reply to your comment and then tell you that you should contact them on their number so to get huge profits in stock or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency trading. Yeah, yeah, this happens. This happens. Now, they will look harmless, but once you contact them, they would request you to pay some deposit, which they would promise to return you back with the profits that they have earned for you. Okay, okay, okay. Daddy never ever trusts such people. They might even have a similar name as the name of the person whose video you are watching. Right, right, right. They do this to win your trust. Okay. And uh, that's how financial frauds take place. Yes, surely. I will remember all these things. All these pointers are really good points and would never share my personal data with anyone. Also, I would never enter my UPI pin unless I'm paying to someone and would be more careful while interacting with people in the comment section on YouTube and other social media applications. That's like my smart daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my smart daughter. <laughs> E-payment frauds. You were just listening to this program. Program coordinator Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Artists Babla Kochar and Vasundhara Bose. Technical coordination Bati Langlingdo. Recorded by Vikas Sangwan. Technical assistance Shanu Muksim. Production assistant Amit Kumar. Guidance Ajit Horu. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This program was brought to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.